Have you ever found yourself suddenly inverted you didn't expect to be? Were you trained in upset prevention and recovery techniques? Well, if you were, you would know you simply roll over. Welcome to Episode 8 of the Sporty's Advanced Pilot Skill Series. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and Guinness World Record holder for most inverted flat spins. In this episode, we're going to review the key elements of upset prevention and recovery training. Now let's head out in the Super Decathlon to 4,500 feet over the beach in St. Augustine, Florida. Let's spend a little time on upset prevention and recovery training. This will be a brief overview of how this is taught to pilots to make them safer. What is an upset? We typically define it, no, it's not an upset pilot. It's when the plane suddenly departs from what the pilot planned to do. It's when the pilot is no longer in command or is not exhibiting good airmanship and has become a passenger and now has to recover from something he didn't intend to be in. An upset could be something as simple as wake turbulence that suddenly upsets the airplane and you have to recover back to level flight. It could be convective activity as we often get here in Florida from a thunderstorm that could be as much as you know, 10, 15, 20 miles away. How do you recover from upset? There's a few basic concepts we talk about. One is two-dimensional wing loading. When an airplane like the Decathlon I'm in is published to read a plus six G rating, that's in one direction. That is in this direction of the airplane. If you are in a bank and you're pulling and rolling at the same time, you're putting G's in two direction, your G rating is no longer, or your G limit is no longer six. If you're putting load in two directions, like when you're trying to roll and pull, you no longer have the benefit of a plus six G load factor it's lower because you're putting G in two dimensions. So you have to get the load off the plane first before you roll. You don't want to pull in a banked attitude from an emergency. So let's do an example of, I suddenly find myself in an upset. What am I going to do? Up oh, there I go. I got rolled over in convective bacteria. Look at the horizon, unload the stick, roll wings level. Now recover to level flight, add the power back in and climb back up to a safe altitude. I can't stress enough how important it is to level your wings before pulling out of an upset. That's why the upset recovery mantra is look at the horizon, unload the stick or yoke to get the load off the wing, then roll wings level, then pull. Look, unload, roll, recover. That is the proper way to recover from an unusual attitude. So let's look at that again. We're flying along and we suddenly get upset from wake turbulence. There we are. So I look at the horizon, unload, roll wings level, now recover level altitude. When I look at the G meter, I only hit plus two Gs in that whole recovery. One of the most important skills you'll learn in an upset prevention and recovery training course is how to roll the airplane, even from inverted. The type of roll we teach is the aileron roll. The aileron roll uses, test it, only the ailerons. Don't worry about the elevator. We don't worry about the rudder. It's just important to make sure the elevator is neutral so we're not loading up the wings. So let me demonstrate a very simple aileron roll in this airplane. First, I'm gonna dive and get some speed. This airplane rolls best, has about the same roll rate as the Cessna 172, rolls best from about 125 to 130 miles an hour. So there's my target airspeed. I level for a moment, look at the horizon. I pull up, put my toes on the horizon, stop the pull with neutral stick, pull aileron over. And I just hold it, notice it rolls slow, and wait for the roll to finish. And notice the nose ends up down. That's normal because we're not trying to hold altitude during the roll. That's the basic aileron roll, which we'll use in all upset recovery training techniques. Let's do a two-point roll. So I stop briefly and invert it to help build situational awareness of where are you in the roll and how do you enact eye-hand coordination to manage the airplane. So we dive down. About 130. Level for a moment. Stop. Wings are level. Pull up, toes on the horizon, stop the pull. Pull stick in, add inverted, I neutral the stick, notice the nose is still dropping, put the roll back in. Finish, nose is down, that's totally normal. Pull back to level. That's the two point roll, helps build situational awareness. Now I'm gonna do a four point roll. Every 90 degrees, I'm gonna stop the roll for a moment. Again, we're building situational awareness in the maneuver. Die for sufficient airspeed. Stop at level, pull up, toes on the horizon, stop the pull, neutral stick. One, two, notice nose is dropping. Three, nose is dropping. Four, and recover level flight. 
That's the basic aileron roll, four-point aileron roll, as a recovery technique. I'm going to turn around and get back into my aerobatic box, and we'll continue. Nice little wing over. Hey, we're in an aerobatic plane. Might as well enjoy ourselves. One of the most important parts of an upset prevention recovery course is understanding what it feels like to be upside down. Most pilots have never actually been inverted in an airplane and had the feeling of hanging from the seatbelts. So let's do a little inverted flight. I'm gonna do it from a half an aileron roll. We'll get used to that feeling of blood rushing to our head and maybe a little air gap between our butt and the seat. I get my airspeed, level flight, pull up, toes in the horizon, stop, roll. As I get to the inverted, I start pushing the stick. I take the ailerons out. Now I'm flying along inverted. Oh, that cord's in the way. Now I'm flying along inverted. I need a significant amount of stick pressure to hold the inverted attitude. And I feel a little bit of air gap under my butt. That's normal. But I'm getting used to the feeling of negative G in the airplane. Now if you ever find yourself in this situation, simply roll back over. And the reason you need to learn the discipline of rolling is because if you pull through, you can put excessive airspeed and excessive G on the airplane. And most non-aerobatic airplanes can't handle that and may break or bend. And someone may get hurt. And you'll lose a significant amount of altitude. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which include everything from private pilot training how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.